Guys, what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is October 31st, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And just looking at this title, not looking good. Now, I'm going to skip the name of the university, and it says here, the blank university student cuffed for threatening to take out J-E-W-S students on campus. We're going to see what's going on here, guys, but we have more breaking news. Look at this one. Another U.S. airbase impacted. And this here is the fourth one in the last 12 hours. All right, so we're going to see what's going on in this story. We have more breaking news. And, guys, this one here is insane. I mean, look at this map. Look at that smoking fast jet stream crossing the Atlantic tonight. They are literally sending a lot of planes out there. And I believe these planes are heading towards Europe, but is also heading towards the Eastern Mediterranean. I mean, look at that. I mean, and, and, and guys, from what I heard, they're going 750 miles per hour. Hold on, give me a second here. Let me just read this part. So these are all the eastbound flights entering smoking fast jet stream crossing the Atlantic tonight and flying across the ground at over 750 miles per hour. Now it says here, you can see Samo 29 going 200 miles per hour slower westbound from London to Andrews AFB and trying to avoid the high high winds as much as possible. Something's going on here, guys. So from New York to London in four hours. Yeah, we're going to see what's going on in this story here. Uh, also, guys, we have more breaking news updates. We're going to talk about the uh, all this event that's going on. I just showed you the first... Uh, link about the university. This one here is uh, the growing event around the globe following the biblical war in the mid E. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here. It's very important to bring this up because it gave us an idea how to prepare ourselves and how to be, you know, prepared for this event because it's happening all over the place. And we got uh, more breaking news updates. You have Persia backed Yemen base hoodie. Uh, T Group released a video threatening UAV strike against the Holy Land. All right. Uh, this thing looked like some kind of movie, from bootleg movie. All right. So we, uh, we have more information coming out. Explosion reported in Janin, West Bank. All right. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for sharing the video and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel either through paypal or patreon thank you so much your support truly helps out all right today's the last day of october just like that this month went so quick too quick i mean man in the next 40 minutes it's november now we got to think about turkey and and now i started thinking about turkey the country and then turkey and the dinner table I mean, hopefully there's no November surprise, but uh, you guys already know. Oh, by the way, um, I think this week they're going to change the time. So, uh, you know, sun is going to go down really quick, like around 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern time. But uh, yeah, November is going to be another surprise event. It's not only Black Friday, but it's going to be Turkey. There's going to be a lot of things to come. It's a possibility Black Friday's inflation is going to be, I don't know how that's going to work, but... Anyways, uh, let's see what's going on with this news here. So this happened in Syracuse, New York. Uh, I'm going to skip that person's name. Uh, PD, 21 years old, a junior at the university who is originally from Pitchford, New York. He was cuffed uh, today at a, on a federal, you know what, complaint charging him with posting. Wow. Threats to K-I-L-L, or you know what, another using interstate communication. So here's the thing, guys, and I made a video of this. 
they are tracking a lot of people either through text messages, Facebook, and they are saying they are doing it, you know, listening to conversation, and they say they had the uh, court access to, you know, get into people's personal stuff. And that, that came out from the FB, you know what, and I posted a video last week. I don't, I don't know which uh, video it was. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember. If you guys could find the link, it'd be nice and just leave it down in the comments box. But um, yeah, uh, they said that uh, they were going to track uh, phone, text, platforms, conversation, and uh, they're getting permission from the courts. And it seems like this here is the first one. So here's the thing, guys. When it comes to certain things like leaving comments, and be careful. Be careful. I know that some people say certain stuff, and again, they watching, they are uh, they are uh, they listening, they reading, they doing all that type of stuff. All right, so the announcement was made by the Sleeping Giant attorney, um, acting special agent in charge of the Albany field office of the FB. You know what? There we go. We just mentioned them. All right, so once again, New York State Blue acting. Superintendent, I'm gonna skip all these information here. Uh, the complaint alleges that this person posted some, you know what, messages to the Cornell section of an online discussion site, including posts calling for the DEATH of the, you know who. There you go. There you go. And uh, a post that said, gonna, wow. He was gonna do something at uh, 104 West. So according to information provided by this uh, university, the Blue and other public info, uh, 104 West is a Colonel University dining hall that caters predominantly, ah, kosher, uh, again, they do their bagels and cakes and all that type of stuff. And, and uh, when I say they, I'm referring to J E W S. Um, and it's located next to the, once again, that area right there. I'm not going to say the name guys, just follow me on this one, which provides resonance for Colonel students and other post. Once again, that same person allegedly, Ooh. Blank to S T A B, and oh my goodness, I guys, I can't say a lot of this stuff. I can't just follow me on this one. This is why I showed this this whole screen. Uh, man, uh, this is a uh, very disturbing stuff here. This is very disturbing. Um, again, uh, <laughs> I gotta skip some of these things here. He sees on campus to oh my ah, it gets worse. Oh my goodness. Um guys, I can't say none of this stuff here. Wow. Um Oh, bring a very powerful, you know what? And gosh, are there people like this? I mean, I know there's people, but man. Um that was very disturbing. Uh, so the charge filed against uh, this person, a maximum sentence of five years. That's it? Uh, in prison, a fine of up to $250,000 and a term of supervised release of up to three years. A defendant's sentence is imposed by a judge based on the particular status, statute, excuse me, the defendant is charged uh, with violating the Sleeping Giant sentencing uh, guidelines and other factors this this is nothing this is nothing the, again this these type of people need to be put away for a very long time uh because if he has the mind of those type of things i mean eventually you let him go he's gonna seek revenge or something that's the thing about the sleeping giant they don't their system is not 
But what happened in the bear country, you know, that airport, you had a whole bunch of people in that airport in the bear country, Russia airport, uh, airport, 550 were cuffed. Each one of them are getting five to 15 years in prison. Here in the Sleeping Giant, you get a slap in the back. Don't do it again. And then the next day we hear big breaking news. You guys already know about those big breaking news. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. Hopefully, man, hopefully I don't get no nightmares. I've been having nightmares these last couple of days. All right, so the Al Tanaf military base used by the Sleeping Giant forces in Southern Holy Net, uh, excuse me, in Southern Syria, near the border with Iraq and Jordan, has reportedly just been impacted by person back militia with two. <laughs> two kamikaze uh, drones. This is now likely the fourth strike on sleeping giant troops in Syria within the last 12 hours. What's going on here? It's right there. So you got the you got Holy Land right here. You got Lebanon right here. Damascus. This is all Syria. Jordan, and it's right here, guys. Mm. This is the fourth one within 12 hours. Please pray for the sleeping giant soldiers. And like I said, this one here is kind of strange. Something's going on over the Atlantic Ocean. Something's definitely going on out there. Mm. These are all the eastbound flights entering a smoky, fast jet stream crossing the Atlantic tonight and flying across the ground at over 750 miles per hour. All right. Give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to skip that story, though. I want to go to this one now. Let's see what's going on here, guys. And it's very important to talk about this. I don't see too many uh, talking about this type of stuff, but it's very important. If you are a watchman or a watchwoman, you got, again, you got to bring this up. You got to bring this up because it, there are those out there that are planning to do things that you need to let the people know to be aware of your surroundings. It says here you have the Los Angeles. You had a man screaming. <sighs> man screaming. K-I-L-L. Do you know what? J-E-W-S. Attempts to break into a family home. Look at that. In London, you have a girl in a, a young one in a playground are told they are striking. What? They are stinking J-E-W-S and should stay off the slide. In the Red Dragon post, uh, likening J-E-W-S. <sighs> And parasites, vampires, or snakes proliferate uh, on social media, attracting thousands of likes. Uh, if you have any young ones, make sure your young ones is not on the platform that much because the platform are teaching uh that's you know the the holy land of pure evil it's very important to sit down with your young ones and stay in prayer and teach the the gospel if you don't teach the gospel to your young ones the world is going to teach your young ones how to become roman soldiers those roman soldiers are brutal radical they were brutal and uh, radicals so don't be surprised when your young ones come home acting like Roman soldiers. Vody 
Bauckham said that in his book, a um, very, very powerful pastor of uh, a Baptist church. All right, so it says here, this is the scariest time, the darkest time to be a JEWS since WW2. We have had problems be before, but things have never been this bad in my lifetime, said Anthony, at 62 years old, speaking outside the synagogue where he had gone to pray in Golders Green, a London neighborhood with a large JEWS community. Once again, this person who runs three of the schools temporarily closed, two of them October the 7th because of fears of events and has beefed up security at all time. The biggest fear is that there will be a random event in our community, in our families, and our young ones. In countries where figures are available, from the Blue or Silver Society groups, including the Sleeping Giant, Britain, France, Germany, and South Africa, the pattern is clear. The numbers of anti-you-know-what incidents has gone up since October the 7th by several hundred percent compared with the same period last year. You know who started all this, right? Someone came out and said, guys, October the 13th, do your thing. It all started with that message from one of the, I forget his name, in, um, in, in Aza, he came out and he gave a message to the world, to his people, to rise and do your thing. This is the tip of it. All right, so it says here, uh, you have some countries such as the Sleeping Giant and Britain, um, skip that word, incidents have also increased since October the 7th. In the case of the anti, you know what, incident, most constant, a verbal, mm, I'm going to skip some words here, guys. I truly apologize, but I don't want to get hit hard by the platform. All right, so online slurs or, you know what, graffitis and the facing of JEWS properties, businesses, or sites of religious significance. Physical assault represent a significant pro proportion. One common thread and that anger over the DEATH of thousands of palaces as a result of the Holy Land bombardment of Aza is invoked as jurisdiction, excuse me, justification for verbal or physical aggression towards the JEWS in general, often uh, accompanied by use of slurs. But you guys know the rest of the story here. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for the J-E-W-S. The world is uh, basically mad. The world is basically mad. So at the very end, uh, we pray that Benjamin makes right decision. The Holy Land, I IDF forces. Um, you know, this is what Benjamin needs to do. Benjamin needs to go to a private room by himself get down to his knees and pray and ask the lord lord help me with this one lord help me with this one jesus help me with this one here help me even solomon king david's son solomon he he couldn't do it he couldn't he had enemies and he's like man i can't do this myself a man cannot run a nation by himself. They can't. You got too many problems. You got 200 something lands all over the world, 200 something country, maybe more than that. You got to, again, you got to deal with every single one of them. You can't do it on your own. King David look up to God. Solomon look up to God. Even though Solomon, he married over a thousand women for every single nation. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, Solomon's heart was with God. You know, and um, Benjamin needs to, again, sometimes men just want to do things on their own, which could sometimes lead to these type of stuff. 
Benjamin needs to bring peace, and this is not it. All right, so I'm gonna skip. Uh, I'm gonna skip this here, guys. And again, you get the picture. Many, many J E W S are in fear. It's hard for them to just walk down the street. New York is like one of the big, uh, big area. New Jersey, you can't forget about New Jersey. Those are big areas too. There's a lot of uh, J E W S out there. I mean, it's just one of those warnings. One, uh, one of those uh, uh, events that is leading towards a division. When I say event, I'm talking about war. All right, so please pray for many people out there. Everyone, pray for everyone. Continue praying. Don't stop. Don't quit. I mean, look at all this. All this that I'm showing you. This is happening right now. When's the last time the world's seen peace? This goes to tell you that uh, so many are not into scriptures. I suggest people start reading the Gospel of Luke. Start reading scriptures. Get involved in a in a church. Become member of a church. Fill your mind, your soul with the Word of God. And receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Give me a second here. Something's going on. Wow. Uh, three palace have reportedly been impacted following what is claimed to have been a, an airstrike on Northern Jenin in the West Bank. And you guys already know. I showed this one here, which is the, uh, the explosion. This was posted not too long ago. Seven minutes ago. This just happened. Hold on, guys. Oh, look at that. You got some Holy Land uh, soldiers wounded from the strip uh, event. Ooh, what's this here? 40 seconds ago. Give me a second. What is this? Uh, you have the Holy Land. The IDF has announced that at least 317 IDF soldiers have been out since the beginning of the biblical war on October the 7th, making this now the most powerful conflict for the Holy Land military since the first Lebanon biblical war between 1982-1985, during which the ID blank lost roughly 657 servicemen. Man, and that was in three years. That was in three years they lost 600-something. This right here, 317, that happened in less than a month. All right, guys. So this is where we are right now. I'm going to end this video. Uh, give me a second. Let me just double check. There's any more news updates. As of right now, this is all the information. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please pray for each other. Pray for everyone. I know someone is like, who should we pray for? The world. Everyone. Pray for me. I pray for you. Pray for everyone. We need God. We need Jesus in these tough times. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way 
the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.